Howdy, Aggie Cowboy here. Today I'm going to show you how to take apart and clean the 1875 Outlaw. First, make sure the gun's unloaded. Next, half back. Pull it halfway back to first cog, then push the nub right there and pull this out. Unlike a Colt, it's going to or other guns, it's going to stay in. Then pull the cylinder out. Next, you're going to want a 45 caliber cleaning brush, handle, and rod and some kind of gun or bore cleaner. I'd also put a towel on the bottom like this so that you don't get your table messy. And um, also it's good to polish the gun afterwards. Now, spray some down the barrel. You also spray it on the brush if you want. in and let's go through multiple times loosening up all the crud in there and once you loosen up a bit take this head off place it with one of these and use one, a towel. You get the towel wet before or after. I like to put it through then get it wet. Use some more board cleaner. I usually like to dip it in, but the one I dip it in and ran out. So just, I use the same brand though. Now, rub this through to get a lot of that crud out of there that loosened up. I like to turn it so that I can use the whole rag cloth, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you continue going. I like to do it a couple times, switching back between these. Um, so that gets a lot, then use this again a couple times. And then uh, when I'm done, go through, which I'll go ahead and show you. Just put a dry one in here and go through with the dry one to get that extra oil out and a lot of that crud and stuff that's still behind. And just keep on repeating the process um, until you're satisfied and until you get little to no crud left in there. Um, I like to polish and clean all these parts, all the inside right here, just to make sure, uh, and then oil it up afterwards. Just any kind of lubricating oil, just put a little bit on the cylinder and the parts right here so that this rotates no problem. The hammer works fine, everything. And just make sure that you're not scratching anything, don't scratch the barrel, and just be careful and clean. And when you put this part back on, which also repeat the process that I did with the barrel with the cylinder, but when you put it in, make sure this is at half cock, and make sure you open that, put this in, and sometimes it's a little hard to fit, and it's kind of, you gotta twist it, and it'll kind of get back in place and fit, and then Push that forward, push this back, and it's ready. Now, these are cool little guns. Um, 
for, oh, they're my favorite single action, or the style anyways. This is a replica made by Uberti. Pretty good for Italian. Um, better than a uh, Pieta Italian revolver, uh, which I like to had a um, Cattleman version of that. But uh, this thing's pretty accurate. These guns are awesome. They're pretty cheap uh, for well, single action old style revolver. They come uh, with nice finishes for the price range. New, they're about 650, but you can easily find them online. New and used around 400. I got this one for, I think it was 475, I believe, maybe 450, um, off a of gun broker. They're really clean, nice, and I like to keep mine really clean every time I shoot it. Uh, if a gun starts jamming or having problems, usually you'll have more problems with semi-automatics you don't have to clean revolvers as often well a lot of people like to say that i think you should keep and take better care of them uh, cause issues with the barrel and loading and stuff like that if it's too much crud so it's just better to clean them too maybe clean them every once in a while compared to every time you shoot with most semi-automatics um, but it's they're fun guns to shoot and was a bit expensive for this caliber because i got 45 long colt. Uh, you can get these with a uh, different cylinder that comes with 45 ACP cylinder. Uh, for this exact one, I did not get it though. But uh, I love the guns. Now, there are low on aftermarket uh, handles for them, so that's a problem if you want to place it like I wanted to and I can't find the ones I want, at least good quality. But it fits the same holster that any other revolver would that's a single action. Um, you do have to be careful make sure you get the right length for the holster like since this is a seven and a half I had to get a seven and a half now if you get a holster that's open-ended like this you could get a shorter holster for like a four inch or a five inch and it'll go through but a lot of holsters are plugged right here and if you get a five or a four inch holster and it's plugged well the barrel ain't gonna be poking through so it ain't gonna fit now uh, make sure you always put in half cock when you're cleaning it and not full cock like that because you don't want to accidentally go off if you have ammo in it and make sure you always check if it's loaded. Also when you're carrying these always do the cowboy load which is put one in then skip and you fill up so that when you're done and you put the hammer back you go down on the empty chamber. So if it's partially back like this one sometimes it gets stuck like that when I'm pushing forward, you don't want to actually hit it like that and it go forward and cause a round behind it to go off in your holster and hit you in the foot or if you're just carrying a gun or about to clean it or in your nightstand. And even when it's down, it's possible for it to hit hard enough and go. So you gotta be careful about that. Another thing I do like to clean and watch out, make sure it doesn't get clogged or anything is, see if you can see it, I'll gonna continue playing this after the video, but I want to tell you a couple things first. Now you can't really see it, but let's see, yeah, right there you see a little light shining through, right there. That's from where this pokes through. So make sure that hole is clear, so as you don't want too much crud there stopping it from going and hitting and causing, you know, the gun to fire. So if it doesn't hit the shell, it's not gonna fire. So make sure that's clean, make sure everything's working well. And uh, the takeoff to handles, you just unscrew this and pull them out. Um, a Colt handles or Cattleman handles or the Colt style single action armor revolver handles uh, will not fit on this. This has to be like a model 1890, Remington model 1890 or Uberti uh, style handles or the 1875, which is what this is, style handles, both fit on this. Uh, this is really fun gun, again, decent price. You can find them used, um, sometimes pretty cheap, but usually they stick around used and on gun broker for about 450, um, 500. Mostly 500 I've seen, but you can talk people down. Um, at least that's straight by. I don't do the bids as often, and the bids you could probably get it lower, but you never know where the bids go. Sometimes they go a lot higher too, so. 
But yeah, that was my cleaning video. Please uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment too, and uh, watch some of my other videos. I have one posted so far, and I'm about to post a couple others. Uh, I am going to skip the one I originally planned for the second video, and I am going to post an AR video instead. So please enjoy. Thank you.